Hi everyone, I'm Jessica. And I'm Julian, and welcome back to Teen Craft Club. We hope that you enjoyed making your wooden lanterns from last month. And for this month, we're making leis honoring Asian American and Pacific Islander culture. Traditionally, leis are a symbol of love, friendship, and celebration. So what's a better way to celebrate a school graduation than giving a lei? And this month is also mental health awareness, so we're providing the book American Road Trip for your kid this time. And as always, we would love to thank the Friends of the Library for supporting our program. Let's get started. Okay, so in your kits, you're going to have the material needed for two different lays. For the crepe paper lay, you'll have two rolls of crepe paper, two different colors. You will have about three and a half feet of string, not a whole roll, but I'm just using this for the video. And you'll have one plastic blunt sewing needle. Um, I also recommend that you have a pair of scissors because you'll need it to cut the string or in case you need to adjust anything with the crepe paper. And so for the materials for your second leg, you'll just have two sets of ribbons in two different colors, and you will also be needing the pair of scissors. So let's go ahead and get started. Yeah, let's get started. All right, time for the crepe paper lay. This is great for your graduation. So you'll have about three and a half feet of string, but that's for a really big, like full grown body. So what I recommend you do is grab the string and put it around your neck. And you want to make, have enough string to make a lay that's the right size for you. Ideally, a little just above your belly button, where it'd be, is where you want to kind of measure it. So I'm having one side of the string here and here, that's where my belly button is. I'm gonna give it a cut right here. Make sure you have a sharp pair of scissors, by the way. <laughs> okay, so first off, you'll get your, you'll get your needle and you wanna thread the needle and make a small knot. I'm gonna use the end that's a little, and put it through the ring. And I'm not very good at knots. I'm literally using the same knot I'm using to tie my shoes. So I'm just gonna do that one and it should be just enough to have it go, go through. There we go. And then at the end, you wanna make another knot. The same way I made two knots like I was tying my shoes, like the first knot you do, because when you're gonna put the crepe paper stuff, you want it to stop at the end. And I learned the hard way, when you don't put a knot at the end of it, it's just gonna go right through the string. So I'm gonna put through my finger like this, just like I'm tying my shoe. I'm gonna make one other, another one the exact same way just to be safe so that nothing slips through. Around the finger. And there we go. I got a little knot here. That should be plenty to stop the crepe paper. And then... Okay, let's get started with the crepe paper lays. So you see, you got your two different color rolls. They're about 30 plus feet and you're gonna need all of it. Well, the best way to do it is you wanna have the two, one right on top of each other and we're gonna use them together at the same time. So I get the rolls and I make sure they start at the same, at the same spot and then move the rolls back and you're gonna be adjusting this the whole time. You don't wanna unravel the whole thing all at once. That was really messy and I lost a half an hour. So don't do that. Now, what I also recommend is what we're going to be doing is make kind of an accordion shape. By that, I mean, we're going to be doing a lot of little folds about the size the, of the width of your finger. And sometimes there's a little tricky sticking the needle through it. So I actually recommend doing this ahead of time so that the folds are already there and it was a lot easier to like thread the needle through it. So when they're one on top of each other, I'm just aiming my finger to see it's the same width and I'm folding both of them like this. And you're just gonna keep doing that. And then I like, like flattening it so that they stick together, like so. It's good that they're together. It's not the end of the world if there's some little sticks out like that, it's A-OK. -okay. You just wanna make sure that both sheets, both the 
crepe papers are folding at the same time. And you're just gonna keep doing that and then squeeze a little bit. And you also don't wanna make sure, it's not the end of the world also, if it's too narrow or if one's like wider or anything like that, around the same size is fine. These are supposed to imitate flowers and flowers aren't perfect either. So it's a-okay. If anything, it makes it look more realistic. So just to give an example, now I'm gonna unravel it and you see the creases. That's what we're gonna follow with the needle. So I'm gonna get my needle. And each, you're gonna to wanna to stick as in the middle as possible and keep poking through each crease that sticks out like this. Now I'm using a blunt sewing needle. It's not perfect, but it gets the job done. If you have experienced sewing before and you use a real needle and your parents are A-OK -okay with you using a needle, I recommend it. It'll be a little easier to poke holes through the crepe paper, but it's perfectly doable with this. I'm just sticking like this and shaping it. I'm gonna do like a few at a time. I'm gonna do one more. There. So see, if I pull it back, oops, don't let it stick out, fall off the needle like that. There you go. So if you notice, then you can push it through the needle and crepe paper is pretty delicate. So just gently take it to the end of your string. And if you notice, it makes kind of a little accordion thing. Like, you know, the middle of the accordion, it can go in and out like that. That's what we're going to go for. And we're just going to keep doing this with the entire roll till you get to the other edge of the string. I'm just going to keep doing this. Okay, so I made a few folds and you see it's looking a little more like an accordion. What you're going to do is gently push it to the back of the string. I like folding it to make sure it stays in place. And then you can use your hands and you're going to rotate it like a spiral staircase, like uh, clockwise, like this. And do it pretty gently and you want to make it look pretty even. And this is the shape it's generally going to have. Like this. So the more you the more you do it, the more it's going to take shape and it's going to get easier as you go. And then we're going to just continue and making some more folds. And this will take probably around an hour, depending on how much, how quick you are. I'm pretty slow at it. And the first 10 minutes were took a while getting used to, but you'll get the hang of it and you'll get a lot quicker with it. And you just keep going. Okay, so I have finished my lay. I know because I ran out of crepe paper, so I know that's the end. So throughout the time, you know you probably scrunched it up to the bottom tip and we're twisting. And now you just wanna keep it a little even. When you're done with the crepe paper, I have a little more blue than orange, but that's, that's no big deal as long as it's even here. So I'm gonna snip that. And now what I'm just gonna do is lift it and just see how even it is. You're gonna have some parts that are really scrunched up that you might wanna spread out and some other ones that are the other way around, a little too loose and you wanna keep it. I just wanna make mine a little even. And for you science fans, it just makes me think of the DNA coil. But here we go. A little bit over here too. I'm gonna stretch it out here as well. After that, you just want a little bit of string on both ends. You can actually snip or untie your needle. No need for that anymore. And tie it together and you have your lay. So I'm gonna do, again, I'm really bad with knots, but I am just gonna do like how I'm tying my shoes because that's worked for me through this whole craft. And do double knot because I don't trust my knots. There we go. And that 
is it. I'm gonna center it a little bit more and then you have yourself your graduation lane. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start making our lay that is made out of ribbon. So you're provided six yards of each ribbon. So we're just gonna go ahead and start um, with the blue and the black for me. Okay, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna put um, your two ribbons on top of each other. I have the black and the blue. And you're going to measure out about a foot into the ribbon. So for me, that's about two hands. And then you're gonna make a knot right here. So you're gonna grab it, you're gonna put two fingers, loop it around, and then push the ribbon through. So when you pull the ribbon, the black is gonna show and you're gonna have blue on this side. So you're just gonna pull. And we have our starting knot here. So now, you're gonna grab the one color on your right, the other one on your left. And the one with on your left hand, you're going to make a loop towards you. So you, if you see here, I'm folding it towards me. So the loop over here is pointing away from you. We're gonna do the same thing with the blue. Here we go. So what you're going to do is you're going to put this loop on my right hand. I'm referring it to black, but you're going to have a different color. So we're just going to put the black loop through the blue. And you're going to pull the blue closer towards you. So it's really loose. So it doesn't have to be tight right now. It'll get tighter as you start working. So now you're gonna you're pinching the back and the front. You're going to make a loop with the blue, and you're gonna put it through the black loop. And then you're gonna switch hands, pinch, and pull the black. So this pulling movement is gonna it is what's going to hold your your ribbon in place. You don't want to pull too much that it starts folding over. So it just has to be tight enough to hold it, but not too tight that it starts folding your ribbon in. So now we're gonna grab the black, put it through the blue loop, pinch it up here and pull the blue. And if you need more slack on this loop, pull the top ribbon. Don't pull the back ribbon. Pull this one to make the loop bigger. Make the loop again. Pull it through. Pinch right at this point right here. And then you're gonna pull the top string to tighten. And we're going to do the black, pull it through. And so you're just going to keep doing this all the way until you have about um, a foot ending on the opposite end. So we're just going to keep working. So I've been working on this for about 20 minutes now, and you can see that it's starting to come together. Um, we still have a, a way to go. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick tip that as you're working with this, um, you wanna make sure that your lay is um, tight. You don't want it to be really loose. So for example, if um, we have this loop here on the bottom, if you notice that it's really loose when you already have your your other ribbon through the, the black side, if you see through here, this loop right here is really loose. What you're gonna wanna do is just pull 
this black ribbon up to tighten it. Then pull the, the strand this way, just to keep tightening it. So we don't want any big holes through the ribbon. As you can see here, they're nice and tight. And so we're just gonna keep working with this um, until we are towards the end. Okay, so now that we have about a foot um, left over, um, my black is uh, shorter than my blue, so I'm just going off of the shorter ribbon. So this last step, what we're gonna do, instead of doing the loop and um, weaving it through the blue, we're gonna grab the end and weave that through the blue and just pull it through. So now we have we're going to make a knot. There you go. And now it won't come undone. So before we tie, what we want to do is we just want to um, make sure that there's no part in our lay that's really tight. So if you see here, my black is a little bit of uh, uh, squished here. So what I want to do is I just want to open up the braid. And so now it's nice and flat. So you're just going to look through. If you see here, my blue is a little bit squished. So I'm just going to open up the braid. So just, you know, go down your leg and make sure that there's no tight spots, no squished spots. If you see here, there's another one. Gonna open it up and that looks about good now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tie these two ends together. So I'm gonna, so this is the end that I was working with. I'm gonna grab this side and take out the knot. it here and when you fold it you want to make sure that it doesn't like twist so if you see here we have a twist so make sure it it makes a nice loop there's no twisting so if you see here no twisting we don't want the way to look like that so now we're just going to make a knot here some scissors we're just gonna uh, cut these um, these excess ribbons I'm just gonna line them up so that they're nice and even We hope you had fun making your lays. And if you are graduating this year, congratulations. And I just want to let you know, for starting in June, we have a new pickup time for our crafts. It's the fourth Wednesday still, but at 11 a.m. And as always, we'd love to thank the Friends of the Library for supporting this program. And we'll Bye. see you next month.